in this video we are going to consider types of support system in a structure which are roller supports pinned supports and fixed supports these three common supports are fundamental in the connection of many construction and civil engineering structures including mechanical and robotic components. Roller supports In a two-dimensional representation, roller supports is drawn like this. And the free body diagram is a resistance of only vertical movement. The roller cannot resist horizontal movement or turning moment. Hence, it can resist only vertical movement. The free body diagram is represented just with only one arrow. The lateral movement of rollers in their positions are limited. And because rollers are allowed to move side to side, hence are provided at one end of a bridge span to allow the bridge structure expand and contract with temperature changes. In addition to expansion joints, the bridge is allowed to accommodate movement, shrinkage, and temperature variations. There are different types of rollers used in bridge design and construction. Rollers used for bridge construction can be affected by stresses, acid rain, and rusting, and are usually damaged during natural disasters like earthquakes. This requires constant inspection and maintenance by structural engineers. Rollers can be used in the design and construction of gates. In the transmission and distribution of liquid or gas, rollers play a significant role in the pipeline support system. Rollers can come in different shapes and design, but the aim is to resist only vertical movement and not horizontal movement. Rollers are used in many mechanical designed components. Rollers play an important role in the plants which are used for the treatment of soil needed on site. In a motor vehicle manufacturing plant, Rollers help for easy coupling of the mechanical components, even when robots are involved. Rollers help in industrial product packaging. Rollers help in waste processing plants. Rollers are also used in mechanical agricultural machineries. No matter the shape, type or use of a roller support, the representation and free body diagram remains the same. Pinned supports. Just as the name suggests, 
the support is pinned. A pinned support system is represented like this. And the free body diagram resists both horizontal forces and vertical forces. However, a pinned support cannot resist bending moment. Hence, we'll have only two resistance forces. This is the representation of this pinned support system. Apart from beams, pinned can support columns or other parts of a structure. Pinned connections are utilized in the connection of structural system. Including stadiums, like the Olympic Stadium in Berlin. Certain bridges are designed to open and close to allow ships and large vessels to pass. Such design will require a support system which is pinned because a pinned support system do not resist bending moment. A pinned support system is very common in trusses which help to join the triangular members together. No matter the inclination of a pin support system, the horizontal and vertical constraints remain the same. Pin support can be articulated or hidden from view. A single pin support is not sufficient to make a structure stable. Fixed supports. Fixed connections can be welded or bolted or screwed together. Fixed supports can resist vertical forces, horizontal forces and bending moment. These three restraints stops the supported structure both from rotational and translational movement, making it a rigid support. Before analyzing a support system, you have to draw the free body diagram. Fixed connections demand greater attention during construction and are often the source of building failures. This is a summary of types of support systems. Most of the analysis problems will be represented with either a roller support or a pin support or a fixed support. You need to draw the free body diagram for each support before you apply the equilibrium conditions. Let's draw the free body diagram for this beam. This is pinned support and this is a roller support. A pinned support has both vertical restraint and horizontal restraint, while a roller support have only vertical restraint. And this is the free body diagram for the overhanging beam. Let's draw the free body diagram for this structure. This is a pinned support 
and this is a roller support system. This is the free body diagram, both for the roller and the pinned support. Let's draw the free body diagram for this uniformly distributed load. This is the uniformly distributed load for this structure. The load of the uniformly distributed load will become a point load when it multiplies the distance of the span where the uniformly distributed load is affected. How to find the load reactions have been treated in a separate video. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. To access and locate other helpful videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.